hungry now, eh? <laughs> I'm just thinking here. Is Jackson doing it? I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna moderate. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you the first couple of questions, but just when you answer, just. Okay. Look, yeah. look at this. Look the, the camera. camera yeah, or yeah, the. Right, right, right into the, yeah, that's fine. I just pretend that I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, let me get this over here. Sorry. All right, everybody, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I'd like to welcome Garrett Higo back to the interview room here at the Palmetto Championship in Hungary. Now as, as the champion, uh, Garrett, you came from, from six back today. Um, obviously a, a pretty incredible week, and, and a lot has obviously changed and will change in the future. What, When you look back in this moment when you're soaking it in, what, what stands out to you? What are you most proud of right now? I'm just proud of the way I uh, uh, hang in there. Um, I mean, it was tough all the way from the start. Um, definitely didn't have my A game um, in terms of uh, off the tee, but uh, I like that sometimes. Um, I like uh, not having to, you know, play perfect golf. I enjoy scrambling and making making a couple putts, um, which I did, which is awesome. <laughs> all right, well, with that, we're just going to go right into questions, guys. We'll, we'll start with uh, with Daniel Rapport with Golf Digest. If you if you made it over to Steve's computer, there, Daniel. Congratulations, Gary. Um, I'm curious, are you scoreboard? And at what point did you believe that Wyndham Clark was actually? Sorry, I didn't hear you there. I said, are you a scoreboard? And at what point did you believe that Wyndham Clark was actually possible? Yeah, I mean, usually I am a scoreboard watcher, um, but for some reason today I didn't watch it. Um, I was kind of just trying to stay, stay in it. Um, you know, I didn't really want to, you know, try and push um, I mean it's one of those courses that if there are a couple of holes that you can definitely make birdie on so I was trying to uh, capitalize on those um, but when I made eagle on, on 12 um, I mean I didn't have to scoreboard watch I knew already I was kind of up there or close enough um, it was just whether Cheston was going to run away with it and or you know if we were going to you know kind of stay up there and have a chance um, and luckily we did, and uh, I'm happy that I capitalized on it. Right, uh, next, next question, Steve DiMeglio, USA Today. Derek, I know you didn't have a whole lot of time to digest it when you were asked on TV, but you have now won four times in nine months. Yeah. What's that? say about you what do you what are you thinking about when i when you know you've won four times in nine months <laughs> that's a good question i haven't thought of it like that um to be honest i think i just enjoy the challenge i enjoy uh i enjoy playing so i'm a very uh, tough competitor i don't really get down on myself i try and you know it's it's a cliche but i try and you know stay in it you know i fight um, I think I just do that really well. I wouldn't say that there's something that I do that's, you know, out of the ordinary, you know, which, you know, makes me special. But I think I just really, uh, I think I'm a good competitor, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, does this change your expectations at all? No, it doesn't. Um, I think I'm good with that. Uh, I mean, it's just, I've just gone to another level now. Um, so I'll just see what my game can do. I enjoy playing and uh, seeing, you know, what my game does and where it takes me. Um, you know, I'm going to continue with that. I don't, I don't think there's any need to um, put unnecessary expectations on me. Thank you, sir. All right, next question, Cameron Morfitt, Hey, Doug. Uh, just was wondering, is your dad, a, was your dad a golfer? Was he a sportsman? Did he introduce all of the siblings to golf or just yourself? Yeah, uh, good question. Um, he just played social golf. Um, he was a very good cricketer. He was six foot ten, I think. So he was really, really big. Um, my uncle is like six foot eleven. Um, so uh, yeah, we're a big family. I'm not that big. Uh, <laughs> my brother is very big though. Um, but yeah, my dad just played socially. Um, I mean, my earliest memories would just be when I was really, really little. I would just go with him. I just really loved golf. I just loved going with him. Um, it was kind of our thing. My brother kind of went with as well, but he wasn't really that interested, which I think is good. We kind of, me, my brother, my sister, have our own things um, that we, you know, do well. 
and uh, we support each other in you know in that respect. You know, yeah. You're you're obviously doing very well for yourself. Uh, what are your siblings doing these days? Yeah, so my sister is just she's first year. She's studying fashion in Cape Town. Um, my brother is finishing his degree this year in business, um, also in Stellenbosch. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just kind of a normal family. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, we're going to go back to Steve Jamego, USA Today. Go ahead, Steve. Jared, what are your travel plans to get to San Diego? I've got a flight in a couple, <laughs> a couple <laughs> minutes' time. Um, uh, we, there's a charter that the tour put up at uh, 8.30. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll make it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's just one flight straight to San Diego and then uh, US Open. <laughs> will you, how will you celebrate or will you hold off your celebration? I think I'll hold it off a little bit. Um, I mean, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to hold it off, but I'm not going to, you know, go crazy tonight. Um, I'm just going to soak it in, um, you know, enjoy the moment, uh, see some of my buddies on the plane and... Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Thank you, sir. Right, next question, Pete Gaffbelli, AP. Uh, hey there, Derek. I was wondering if you knew on the uh, 17th hole when you kind of missed the fairway and then went some trees that that was an important part that you needed to make that putt in order to have a chance for anything to happen. Yeah, I knew exactly that. Yeah, I knew. Uh, well, that if I didn't make that, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna win. So. Um, yeah, I knew that, and I think uh, you know you have to you have to kind of not you have to be a little bit you know not with it if you don't know that. <laughs> um, you can kind of get the sense, uh, you know, you can feel what's going on. Um, and we had there were scoreboards at that point. I was looking at scoreboards, um, so I definitely knew, and uh, I had a good feeling on that part. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question, Adam Shupak, Golf Week. Congratulations! What was the uh, what was the most nerve wracking moment of the entire week for you? Oh uh, wow, that's a good. Good. Well, probably the putt on seventeen. Um, although I wasn't really that nervous because I, at that I was always chasing the whole week, so I wasn't that nervous to be honest. I mean, um, the couple times in Europe when I was leading, I was pr pretty nervous because you know I've never really had a lead at those at that point, um, but. You know, coming from behind is kind of what I like, so I don't really get that nervous. But I was nervous all week. I've, I've probably the third round uh, playing with Wilco. You know, it was new for both of us. Um, yeah, I mean, I was nervous the whole week, but I really enjoyed it. So, did you did you have a number in mind today? No, I didn't. I thought I thought fourteen, fifteen under. Especially when I woke up and I was looking at the scores, uh, I saw Wilco was you know kind of on a proper run. Um, I thought, wow, I'm going to really have to get off to a hot start. And I didn't. And then I was like, all right, well, let's just kind of stay in it. And um, the wind got up a little bit, which was interesting. I think that kind of made it a little bit more tricky and gave us a bit of a chance. Do you ever play in the World uh, the world Junior at, uh, at Touring? Have you ever been there? No, I didn't play that, no. Okay. Well, good luck next week. Thank you. All right, next question, Richard uh, over at Supersport. Go ahead, Richard. Hey there, Garrett. Congratulations. How's it, Richard? It's a bit late there now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's worth uh, staying up to watch this. So. <laughs> Garrett, oh. I'm just curious uh, what uh, the victory means for, for you, um, and, and just curious what, uh, what it means for people uh, in, in your peer group. What do you think it does for them, for the guys who, who are watching you come through the structures like you? Um, guys like Bill, who have now seen this happen, what sort of belief it gives them? Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't. I think South African golf couldn't be in a better spot. Um, obviously, I've done pretty well, but I wouldn't. I mean, obviously, internally, I believe that I'm the best. You know, you, you've got to. But uh, like you know, there are an unbelievable amount of guys back home that would uh, that would beat me in. A... <laughs> it's all right. Um, Richard, are you still there? Yeah, we're still here. Sorry, sorry. Um, I mean, you know all the guys back home, Jaden, Dion, Volku, jeez. I can even name guys that are a little older than me, younger than me, Martin Forster, all those guys. 
on the day they can beat me easily, you know. Um, and I think uh, I think it's very encouraging, and uh, hopefully they do exactly what I've done. That'll be awesome. All right, guys, just time for a couple more. Cameron Morfitt, Uh Yeah, Derek, so now you have the luxury of playing, um, I guess, wherever you want. And do you, do you imagine yourself playing full-time on the PGA Tour, or do you imagine yourself more of a global player who kind of plays the PGA Tour and the European Tour at the same time? Um, good question. I think, uh, I mean, my dream's always been to play on the PGA Tour permanently, so... At the moment, I'll focus on that. See, uh, see, you know, see if I can keep going. Um, obviously, I'll play on the PGA Tour, you know, for as long as I want, you know, and hopefully I can play on here forever. Um, but I'll play in Europe for sure. Um, my focus is still race to Dubai. See how I can finish on that, um, and then play the a couple Sunshine Tour events as well. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. So. And has Wilco texted you? And what did Wilco say if he has texted you? Uh, I mean, I haven't looked at my phone, but I saw him. Uh, he he waited uh, after 18, so that was awesome. I mean, that that meant a lot. All right, congrats. Thank you. All right, we've got time for one more. Richard, do you, did you have one more? I see your hand was raised again. Yeah, thank you, um, Garrick. I'm just curious um, if you've spoken to to Mr. Player at all um, this week. Uh, if you spoke to him at all during your time in in the states, what uh, what those conversations have been like? Yeah, I've spoken to him quite a lot actually. I spoke to him the whole week throughout Kiwa. Um, he phoned me after about after every round. We spoke about the round, about you know all sorts of things about my swing, whatever, all that stuff. Um, and then I, he phoned me this morning, actually, um, and uh, he just told me that you know he's done it before quite a few times where he's won from six behind, seven behind, um, and you know he just said don't you know don't uh, think too much about what the other guys are doing, um, just kind of do your thing and, and and stay up there and you never know what can happen. So, yeah. Perfect. All right, well, Garrett, congratulations Thank again, you. and uh, we can see you out here on the PJ Tour Yeah, tomorrow. you guys all. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, yeah, before right. you run off, we have some stuff for you to sign. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to have him thank anybody on camera? Yes, we need to do just a couple of quick video messages, yeah. and then and then we can sign some stuff. Yeah. Do you, uh,